Hey guys, welcome back to another video gunner coming in and today. We are back in the workshop again and right now we're just a little ways from my house on my neighbor's land. They're letting me have a look and literally take whatever I want from this junk pile that they have. Uh, they actually they actually let me do this a long time ago, and that's where I got that uh, Briggs opposed twin engine from this is where I got it. I got it off this mower that you can't see right now uh, in front of that one But I decided to come back Because I wanted to see if there was anything else at all of value before they dump all this into that big pit that's back back there and they, and I said, uh, hey, is that a mower? Is all those mowers and stuff still by y'all's warehouse back there? And they said, yeah, uh, help yourself, take whatever you want. And so I decided to come back, and there's something that I actually do want to take. That. That, that mower. <laughs> and you want to know why? I mainly want it for its engine. Kind of like that other one. It's got a 26 horsepower, supposedly. That's what's advertised on the little stickers that's on it. A 26 horsepower Briggs V-Twin. Now, I will say, I'm not a fan, really, of Briggs V-Twin engines, especially their Intech. They are garbage, and they break down all the freaking time. And I know that because... I watch Terrell Fixes All, and literally 90% of his videos on repairing small engines is Briggs Intech engines. <laughs> They're garbage, <laughs> so, but, and I'm pretty sure that's what's on that, but, you know, 26 horsepower, kind of kind of hard to pass up, so I want to take it. So we're going to try to take it, but I got to get everything else out of the way so I can pull that out of there without trying to damage it. I think I'm just going to take the whole thing home. Because I might try to just fix it, fix the whole thing, and make it to where it can be its own kind of lawn tractor that I can have around. Uh, it's, it's, it's still got the deck on it. It's got three blades, and it's a 54-inch cut, which is pretty nice for a standard, ste regular steering uh, riding mower. It's not a zero turn, but it's still a 54-inch cut mower, so I might keep it, and, uh, keep the whole thing. You know, freaking get it repaired, sharpen the sharpen the blades, and I might even mow with it. It'd be a pretty nice upgrade from the 42-inch mower I've always had. So, you know, we're running out of sunlight, so let's try to get this done. I got a chain with me, and we're going to pull this piece of crap Cub Cadet down. I always keep my chain on me for moments like this. I'm turning the Viking into just a work vehicle. You know, you see I've got my air compressor and a bunch of my equipment back there. That's why. I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna hook this to the roll bar. That's probably gonna slip off, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Yeah. Couldn't even see my air compressor and everything, but now you can. Put in low gear. When I'm talking e-boot. Look at that color courage, by the way. It's got a hole in the side of the block. It's got holes in there. I think they actually took like a shotgun and quite literally shot shot it as like a target. <laughs> I think that's why it's like that. But that's not what we're focusing on, boys. We're focusing on something much greater much more beautiful it's got the hood it's just uh underneath it so don't worry oh my god there's a wasp 
There's multiple. Jesus. I should have figured there was a wasp nest somewhere in that stuff. Was it actually under <laughs> that mower? You know, out of all the ones they could have nested in, they choose that one. There's that Cub Cadet hood. Yeah, y'all get out of here. Get out. Get out. Go away. Go kill yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> if I get lucky, I can swat over my hat, but if I miss... I'm going to be in a world of hurt. Oh, I see y'all's nest. I see it. It's under it's, it's under the left left little side table on that grill. Yeah, I see y'all's nest. I see it. What if I just take this tire real quick and just kind of, you know, All right, uh, nah. There's too, too many wasps. There were too many wasps, too many mosquitoes. So I'm going to come back in the morning, but I'm going to be prepared. I'm going to get some bug spray. You know that spray? You, you spray around the edges of your house that kill literally any insect there is. And it stays there for like a year because it's so potent. I'm bringing that stuff tomorrow. Plus, I can use it with those super long guns. So I'll have distance. And I just see them flying around. Oh, they'll be dead. 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 <laughs> they, won't, they won't ever come back. Because <laughs> they'll be dead. <laughs> and then I'll be able to do whatever work I need to do. So, see you tomorrow. Hey, guys. We're back. It's early in the morning. And we are back with vengeance. Oh, 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 oh. I wasn't able to get that bug poison spray I was talking about, but we do have hot shot and cutter backyard bug control. I think they all left. <laughs> they, they, I came here and I messed up their life and now they've moved on to somewhere else. But you know what? That's fine because that's less work for me. Now we can just get straight to freaking getting the mower. <sighs> Any wasps that want to show themselves? I should probably take this one. Alright. Hey, guys. Anybody want to wanna show up? Anybody want to come out and talk for a little bit? Get some activity stirred up. Oh, there's one. Oh, they've all come out now. And that's why I don't like these sprays. I missed. There was only two, though. Well, it's fine, because we're about to rip that grill out of there, and that'll get rid of them for good. Wait. What are you doing? Hey! Freaking wasp flew in my face when I was trying to get that out of there. Hey! When you get scared, that's when you're the strongest, because I freaking just ripped that hood in half.
had to get across the cattle guard. back home but you know towards the end the wheels started spinning freely so and they weren't before because the freaking thing wouldn't disengage so you know what that probably means yep transmission probably broke come on show me them free spinning wheels mm-hmm Yep, because that ain't spinning. Transmission snapped in half. So, yep, now, now it's going to have to have a new transmission. But that's the thing. I'm not getting a new transmission for it, so that just sucks. This mower was probably never going to see the day of mowing anyway. It would take. It was already going to take a lot to fix it. The seat don't even have a cushion. Steering wheel super stiff. Throttles rusty. Electric PTO switch probably doesn't even work. The gas pedal probably would have had issues. Ain't nothing I can do about it. This is beyond repair now. I should have never even brought it here. At least it turns over. It turns over now because the transmission snapped. It's just free rolling now. <coughs> it don't turn over far though. Yeah, it gets about there and then it gets stuck. Classic Intech. So, due to recent events, we're just going to do another engine swap. But we're going to find out if this runs first. <laughs> or even turns over for that matter. So, I'm in the middle of trying to get these battery cables off. Because I'm super fancy and don't have a battery, like, jump starter thing. So I'm using two pliers. <laughs> got no gas in it. You got a uh, red fried taters in there? I'll take the big ones. <laughs> I know what's wrong with it. It ain't got no gas in it. All right, all jokes, <laughs> all jokes aside, let's get this done. This sucker on here. Moment of trials. Then it gets stuck. Yep. Died. Died. <laughs> oh my god. That is, that's stuck. <clears throat> Maybe 
I can take the spark plugs out and maybe. Well, I found my big ratchet, so now it's not a big deal. That's the reason why I was having a hard time finding good size, right size sockets because I lost my big ratchet, but I just found it. So, and the sockets that I that the sockets that the only sockets I had that did fit had to use a big ratchet. But now it's not an issue, so. Wow. That one ain't near as bad, but wow. Yeah, but that's why that ain't turning over. You want to take a look at this super clean spark plug? That's rust. And you know why? Because it sat upside down. Every time it rained, it went right through that muffler. It went up that exhaust pipe into there. Now I guarantee it, that combustion chamber was filled with water. I was able to find a socket big enough to go over the flywheel nut. And it takes this giant ratchet and yeah, just listen to it. And then it goes back to that, so. So I'm gonna get like a little syringe thing to try to pour some oil down in there. So let's do that. First, I'm gonna do something else, which I need my keys for. Wherever they went. This is where the air compressor comes in handy. <laughs> water coming out of the exhaust now. Let it build up more air. Alright, got 120 pounds. Oh 
Look at that. It's moving a lot easier already. Surprising what some oil can do. Probably gonna have to get sea foam for this too. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and blow out the other side too. Can never be too sure. Okay, blow out the other side. Intake valve, intake valve is probably open right now, which is why it's coming out of there. That means the valves are moving though, which is good. Let's see if we can turn it over with the key now, which it should, because it's moving pretty freely. We're getting somewhere you know at one point the motor wasn't even turning over but and, and it was stuck it was jammed and now here we are and it's already moving freely and turning over on its own pretty pretty good so we're getting somewhere god jesus christ Man, you know how hard that was to balance all that? Anyway, so I've got some style. I got seafoam engine cleaner. I've bought like four cans of that in the past now. Um, in the span of, a, of two weeks. Um, I got two brand new spark plugs for the said motor and three quarts of oil. One quart of oil is gonna be used to flush it out. And the other two are gonna be used to fill it up <laughs> afterwards. And then we got the good old she foam. All right, we're back with the new parts. And I've got like a big, I don't know what you would call it, awning thing. It's like a giant umbrella that has four legs. Kinda. <laughs> anyway, I've got that over us to keep me out of the freaking sun. So before I put these new spark plugs in, I'm gonna put more oil in each of the little comb combustion chambers and turn the engine over and let the oil go through there. So well, here's my syringe pumpy thing. Get the syringe thing of the thing all thing. Okay, get some in this side. See if they'll turn over now. <laughs> you can put that on six amps. We need to keep that battery charged anyway. <laughs> Find 
some sternal fluid. Would you look at that? So it's gonna run and you might have been like he didn't even check for oil before he started that engine and ran it on starting fluid well the thing is is that you know I put the oil down those combustion chambers so it was it had lubrication from me putting the oil in those combustion chambers so it, it had lubrication and definitely enough lubrication to run for a few seconds so but I am gonna check for the oil real quick in which it has none <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit <laughs> it's full it only took uh, two and a quarter quarts <laughs> all right I've got some gas I'm not going to put it in the fuel tank, but I'm going to put in one of these oil containers. One that's actually empty. Try to start it. Smoke is starting to smell more healthy now. <laughs> let that, let the jack down in the bag because it was probably raising it up so high, dipping that engine down towards the front, it was probably freaking burning some oil because the oil was probably getting up to the cylinders. All right, it's gonna run. Bring this over here. Okay, let's see if I can. Get it to style out. See if I can draw fuel.
ain't drawing nothing. <coughs> probably gonna have to have carburetor work and that fuel pump may just not be working either to be honest <laughs> could be a number of things you know i felt over that cover and it was like really hot and i was like hmm i wonder why that's happening but i should have known that it could have been covered, and I mean covered, in every bit of junk you could ever dream of. That's terrible. That is terrible. So, yeah, I'm going to have to clean all that up. All right, I finally got the bowl off of the carburetor, so now I'm gonna spray carb cleaner through all, every freaking nozzle there is. I tried to just take the carburetor off, but from trying to do that, yeah, no. <laughs> Fuel solenoids working, so what here listen. That's that fuel solenoid working. And that also means that the key's on, so I need to turn it off. There we go. Now I gotta spray that out again because I dropped it. I think that fuel solenoid was stuck because it well when I uh God it, Because when I went to take the carburetor off or the bowl off, the fuel solenoid was hot, super hot. It burned my fingers when I touched it, and the key was on still. It's been on this whole time until I just shut it off. And when I first tried to move it, it was very stiff. So I think, I think the fuel solenoid was stuck shut. It was trying to open it, but it couldn't, and it was getting the motor in there really hot. So, but we should be good now. But I'm still going to work on the carburetor in case that's not the only issue, which is probably not. So, I'm going to spray that whole area in there. Spray carb spray in the fuel pump. Okay. All right, I think it's about ready to test to see if it'll run under its own fuel suction power. <laughs> Gotta use a different fuel line for, to, for it to be able to reach this time because I'm not using the fuel filter because it was pretty bad.
eight. Put the fuel line in there and hope that um, it'll run. <laughs> All right. smoke I don't know if it's I don't know if like that oil is just getting right past those rings or what but god it's burning like insane I think I know where it's coming from when I sprayed that oil down in the combustion chamber use the air hose to blow it through obviously it would have gone all over the inside of the buckler and the exhaust pipe so it's probably just burning it off hopefully Shucker is running! 